Hi, in this video I'm looking at calculating the area of this L-shaped shape here. Now this shape is really made up of two rectangles or a rectangle and a square depending on how you look at it. You can actually split it up two ways. So you've got a choice. You can split it up by putting a line up there and then you've got this rectangle and this rectangle. So you'd have a four by two meter rectangle and uh, well, we don't know this length and we'd have to work out this length as well, but we've got enough measurements we could work it out. Or we can split it up across here and we've got these two rectangles, a two by two will square and a five by, well, we'll have to work out what that length is. So there's two ways of doing this problem and both will get you the same answer. I'm going to stick with this one considering it's there at the moment. And so we've got this shape here, our square, which we know the dimensions of. It's a two by two square. And I've got this shape here, which is this rectangle. And so we're going to work out these two areas and then we're going to add them together to get our entire area. So let's have a look at the first shape first, area one. Now that's this square that is two by two. The area of a square is side squared. So we're going to do two squared. And so our first area is four meters squared. Our second area is a little bit trickier. We have this rectangle here, which has this length is five meters, but we don't know the width. So to do my rule, I'm a little bit stuck. But if I think about what's happening down this side here, from the top to the very bottom, we have a distance of four meters. But I know that this length, which is from the bottom to the red line, which I can translate over here, is from the bottom to the red line is two meters. So I've just got to work out knowing the fact that from the bottom to the top is four, so the bottom to this point is two. So then what's this point going to be? Well, that's going to be four minus of that two. So this length here is also two meters. So we're going to have a five by two rectangle. So let's go and put those numbers into the rules. So we got five multiplied by two and we work that out to be 10 meters squared. So now we can work out the overall area, which is going to be our first area plus our second area. And so doing that, so we've got our first area was four plus our second area, which was 10. And so our total overall area is 14 meters squared and we're done. So if we've got a shape that we can break up in other shapes, you work out the individual areas first, and then you either add or subtract to get your final answer.